Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky and this review will be for episode 2 of Constantine. Uh, with this episode we get the introduction of a new character in the name of uh, Zed. Uh, she was teased at the end of episode 1. Uh, she was the woman drawing all the uh, paintings and sketches of John at the end. Uh, in this episode we get her running into Constantine, literally, and she's immediately drawn to him because she's been drawing him um, and she wants to know why she feels like it's something to do with destiny that they were meant to find each other she's just trying to figure out what's going on she's been having these visions and, and you know strange things have been happening to her uh, Constantine you know automatically catches on you know that she's some sort of psychic even though he initially thinks she's some sort of con person um, as he's a con person as well. So, uh, we get th their, uh, chemistry re is really good. Um, Zed has this innocence about her, but she also has this strength inside of her, um, that's displayed very well in her eyes. I mean, she's at first very, you know, uh, giving in to Constantine and doing what he says, but then she's still kind of fighting back a little bit. Um, just some verbal sparring between them. So I'm really excited to see how they move those characters along um, and use uh, her psychic powers and how Constantine is teaching her how to use those. Um, we do get a nod to Liv at the beginning um, as Constantine is reviewing her map that she left. And in one spot it shows the uh, blood is kind of getting wet, signifying that something's going on in that area at the same time we get a, a nice little uh, visit with Chaz as he drops off some money and we learn that Constantine has basically been using magic to uh, guess lottery numbers and that's kind of how he's funding himself so that's a very Constantine thing that you know he would do is again he is very much a con man and um, is not against using magic for his own personal gain when he can. Um, and, you know, unfortunately Chaz can't join him on this trip, um, due to a situation previously with a succubus and a derailed train and, um, you know, some police involvement with that. So Chaz has to step back in this one. Um, so we get, you know, just a lot of Zed and Constantine scenes, which is good because this is a, kind of a new introduction episode. So that's why the pacing is kind of a little rushed in some spots as they basically have to introduce a brand new character. In episode two, um, now some funny Constantine moment uh, was uh, when he went to the funeral, and you know brings a frozen meal. You know, whereas most people are bringing you know pies or you know full meals and things like that, and he drops off a, a frozen meal. Very classic thing uh, for him to do, um, and you know he gets a feeling you know that there's definitely something strange going on and especially when he visits the mine as well and he hears the knocking himself and he begins to make the connection that what's going on with these miners what's killing them is these uh, spirits referred to as a, a cobbly now uh, which basically they're in mythology they're kind of considered you know close to like a gnome goblin that sort of of spirit but you know they're they're supposed to be or benevolent. They they protect miners, warn them when there's problems, but something's been been twisting them. Um, and you know it's discussed by Constantine that you know it's there's this darkness that was mentioned in episode one, and it's basically you know corrupting magical beings as well as people that use magic. Um, so that's expressed in the confrontation Constantine has towards the end of the episode um, where basically there's a woman that's been summoning these spirits and causing them to do evil things whereas normally they're supposed to be protective. Um, so you know we're, we're getting that continuation from episode one. Uh, the special effects of these creatures is, was done very well I thought um, especially the uh, full body appearances of them in particular when Constantine goes to the abandoned church and finds the uh, two young people uh, having a bit of fun and uh, chases them off before uh, he uses a spell to uh, see this creature and 
you know, it's nice to see that Constantine, you know, as powerful as he is, he's not immune to the jump scare. Um, so again, the special effects were done very well. And as well as in the truck later on with the water filling up and the hands coming out. You know, very creepy visuals. So they're keeping that dark tone and I'd like them to get a little bit darker in the series. And I think they probably will. Uh, but, you know, we see that balance within Constantine where, you know, in the the truck, he, you know, he gets saved by Zed stating, you know, I was thinking up a spell. Constantine isn't overt with his magical ability. Um, as I discussed previously, he he knows that when you use a lot of magic, people are going to notice um, as well as other magical beings. And, you know, you don't always want to be noticed, especially when you're in his line of work. But then, you know, at the end of the episode when he confronts the the woman that summoned these creatures, you know, he immediately summons, you know, her de deceased husband, you know, right away. So he's, you know, has some strong magical ability and he, you know, doesn't appear to be getting corrupted by this darkness. Um, you know, it may be inside of him, but, you know, he's still able to use his magic uh, for, you know, positive purposes. So. I really enjoyed the episode. I'm looking forward to seeing how the relationship between Zed and Constantine expands. Um, I remember her from the comics briefly as uh, she was being used by a cult, I believe, to um, bring forth the, the second coming, basically. And um, Constantine, you know, kind of interrupted that with a a uh, bit of uh, uh, fun with her and just I don't remember everything exactly I'll have to go back to those issues so if uh, someone uh, recalls exactly how Zed placed out in the comics or played out in the comics go ahead and put in the, the comments below I'd really appreciate that but yeah it's uh, nice seeing a, a stronger female character that was kind of what they were going for someone to balance out you know uh, Matt Ryan and his Constantine as he's continuing, he's definitely appeared to be more comfortable in the role. And, you know, he's getting a bit more playful in his dialogue and things like that. So, Matt Ryan is still killing it as Constantine. I'm really enjoying this show. And I know we're going to be getting a lot of uh, DC magical characters. And just exploring that darker side is going to be uh, very beneficial, I think, for, you know, uh, for people into these type of comic shows and everything. So, really enjoyed the show. Hope you guys did too. Let me know in the comments. Uh, did you enjoy Constantine? Are you not liking it so much? And any other questions or can, uh, ideas that you have or, you know, about different characters, anything you like information on, go ahead and put that in the comments below as well and I'll be happy to go over that with you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share the video. And please subscribe to my channel as I will be uh, doing weekly reviews of Constantine as well as the other DC and Marvel television shows uh, going on as well as any shows that come up in the future. Um, that being said, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!